now you have to come to here gc key and click so if you have question on what is gc key it's a unique electronic credential gc here stands for government of canada okay and uh, basically you create your username and password uh, and uh, few set uh, question and answer which is only known to you and this will allow you to communicate securely with government's online services exception here is cra for cra you need a separate user name and id uh, password because of the nature of work what happens with cra otherwise this one single gc key is uh, sufficient to access any of the government's online services so you'll go through the credential uh, how to set that up and uh, that's what uh, this video you will see and once uh, this is done you are also assured by the government that this gc key service is not shared with any third party and the information what you provide is held by government of canada and it is protected under federal privacy act so it's a very secure medium to access the government's initiative if you already have gc key you enter your username and password and if you don't have you come and click here on sign okay once you click on sign up with this page terms and condition of use you go through the entire uh, privacy notice and then click i accept i will not go into detail of this uh, as it's a very simple process you choose your username okay then you create your password then you set up a question and answer which is only known to you and you also have your email once you do that your username and password is ready and you will be able to log in to the section in my case uh, i already have a username and password so once i click on gc key here you see it's asking me to link the credential to my ised account when I had first uh, done my incorporation that time, this was not there. This is a new addition later. So once you give your given name, family name, email and phone number and continue, you go to the next section. So here I'm selecting create my account and send me verification email and then verify the email. So an email to verify and complete your my ISED account was sent. Please leave this browser session open until your account has been verified. So just keep it as it is. Go to your email and click on the link. So keeping this browser open is required in case you need to resend this email. If you haven't received the email, you check and then come back and you can resend the email. And uh, that's the reason why you need to keep this as it is. So in case you get into this section when you have to verify your uh, profile it's a very easy step process your name your email id phone number those are the basic details once you have filled it you have to go and click update my profile then is the updating of two-step verification once you click on update here enabling one of the options will ensure that uh, to gain access to your services whatever option you choose that will get first triggered before you can login so it is highly recommended to keep everything safe you can choose any one of them and then it's enabled now that your basic profile is set up you have to go and verify your identity and for that you have to click get started this is the verify your identity section i will not go in detail you can directly verify this through your Intrac uh, verification service that is by connecting your bank account that is Canadian bank account you see here the list here and uh, if you don't have you can take a photo ID for the verification service that is provide a valid Canadian passport driver's license or international passport as well as selfie using your mobile phone okay and the third option is you can go to the nearest Canada post outlet and submit uh, online application generate the code and to government issued photo id you can take that to the canada post outlet whichever is the nearest now the easiest one is this you choose whatever is convenient to you i will go with this uh, option because it's instant and it has to be personal non-business account okay so continue you go and verify and then continue so now you're all set up with your gc key your username password is set up your question and answers are set up you have also done your credential through either the uh, banking service or by physically going to canada post and showing your two photo and you're all set to now access government services so friends i hope you found this video informative and valuable in case you find it informative and valuable please let me know through your comments do like and also share with your friends for them to know about this.
Also do check out other videos which I have made here on my YouTube channel uh, as it might interest to you if you are in Canada and uh, you will get to know all the required information what a particular services or application requires. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.